What is up, my chickies? It's Baron here. Today we're going to be doing a video on Squadron 42. I believe you aren't going to like this. I don't care. I really just don't care. I obviously care because you're a viewer, you're a subscriber. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Watch the video all the way through. You'll be very interested in this, even if you're an, a long time backer. Now, as we know, CIG have in the past, you know, they haven't really delivered on time frames. And there's reasons behind that. I don't really want to know. You know, I, I respect everyone's opinion. I respect all your comments. I love it. Just leave one down the bottom. But this is my opinion. And try and change my mind, I'm going to guess. So, what I'm going to put out there today is probably going to be a little bit conflicting. But again, as we know, Chris Roberts has moved back to England to help finish Squadron 42. Okay, so... If you go through the progress tracker, you'll notice a few things. And when I say a few things, I mean that we could possibly be seeing Squadron 42 this year. I might be wrong. I might be right. But as we see, we've got jump points here. So we know we're getting jump points because we've got to jump to Pyro. So with that said, said um... We could see that jump points are always going to be consistently worked on, like server meshing. We could see server meshing this year to be able to put Pyro in the game. But people do seem to think that server meshing won't be finished this year because it's going to push the quarter four of 2022. Now, that may not be the case. It may actually be that Squadron 42, well, server meshing, sorry, is an ever persisting, ever developed unit okay so the part of server meshing that we're getting is uh, it's static it's not dynamic we're not going to really notice anything different in the background but we need it to run pyro because of all the assets and whatnot so take think about it as getting a static piece of it and it's not finished okay so when you think of it like that keep thinking about it and think that, you know, we got a static piece and as the year goes on to 2023, they will keep developing and continuing their work on it and it will just keep improving. It's not going to be an, like that comes out static. That's it. They're going to stop developing it. And that's why people think it's going to be coming out in quarter four. You know, it may be an announced differently, but they're working on Pyro pretty hard. They're working on server meshing pretty hard. And I feel that Squadron 42 may be coming out this year because... If they can't meet the timeline for those two, it feels like they're going to push for Squadron this year. And then once that's done, they'll just go straight to the PU and start pushing out content for that. I know there's a few things here for Star Citizen and then Squadron 42 um, that may push out to quarter three, quarter four of this year. But a majority of it pushes to the end of this month or just into April. Okay, so everything that is Squadron 42 related is in March or just a little bit past March. So obviously you got the Sinus Mining Droid we knew about. Squadron 42 goes to the end of March. Right, so you got another one here. Asset integration goes just into February, so that's finished. Okay, FPS radar scanning, end of March. Fire hazard, fire extinguisher, middle of March. Okay, so you keep seeing this correlation between these assets. So you got all of this here means Squadron 42, right? That it's going to be in Squadron 42 and the PU. So I've also noticed something between the PU and Squadron 42. So it might not be the th case, but if you have a look here, we got derelict spaceships, right? And it's a continuing development through 2022 but they also have derelict damage pass on squadron 42 now my theory in mind is that they've put derelicts here and then they've given us it in the pu obviously so i'm thinking that they may actually be testing the derelicts damage pass and all the um, integrations and just the improvements on derelicts in the PU 
and that could be the case it very well could be the case but we keep going up and we keep seeing that there's a trend happening here most of the stuff for squadron 42 is going to be finished by the end of march which could could very well be in time for invictus yeah let's think about that it could be in time for invictus because look at it look it's all ending at the end of march you might not seem like it's going to be coming out but i most definitely could guarantee that it would come out this year i might be putting a few things on the line it's not my i don't know if i'd be putting my reputation on the line but i feel people are being very negative this year yeah i was put out that video and it vibed with a lot of people it definitely did vibe with you guys so when i say this go to the progress tracker Look for the correlations between these assets here and Squadron 42 with the PU and see if you notice any differences of things that are adding, getting added to the PU because it could very well be testing for Squadron 42. Now, obviously with Pyro and server meshing, we need we need it. We just, we need server meshing this year. And CIG know, and I've spoken to people about this, that they are taking a bit of a hit with their reputation, their development and their funding. Yeah, they've got some ships coming out and they're putting out sales because they know they're hemorrhaging just a little bit. So they may actually be pushing for Squadron 42 this year to up their sales and sort of improve the style of gameplay so they then can concentrate on the PU, give us nicks, give us some more systems because we do know Earth is going to be in Squadron 42. So they're working on the Odin system for Squadron 42. I'm not too sure if it's going to be coming out into the actual game. Now, there's a lot of unannounced ships there that are very close to being released as well. Well, not released, but finishing their development cycles. So, you just need to, you know, people need to, you all need to relax. We all need to just chill out for a minute. Now, they have changed Nyx. Nyx was getting, like, developed alongside of Pyro. But I guess we might just be getting Pyro for now. And Nyx will be a little bit later. But which, which is fine, because people just want a new system. They want something new that's coming to the game. For the everyone that's just come to Star Citizen, that's fine. You guys are going to be ever impressed all the time of the content that is in there right now. For the people who are older backers and in there and sort of, you know, get a little bit bored, that's completely fine. But please go to the progress tracker. Let me know down in the comments what you all think of this because I definitely think we can expect Squadron 42 this year in the terms of that everything's going a little bit, not pear-shaped, but a lot of the content creators are burnt out. A lot of the people that are playing the game are burnt out. Um, there's people not spending as much money. Yeah, there's there's a lot of you guys spending money out there during these sales. Don't get me wrong, I know this. Um, but I think they know if they don't push for Squadron 42 and get this released and actually do something with this, then they could very well be looking at a few issues in terms of funding and players. Now, there's a lot of people out there that are Legatus, Praetorian and whatnot that are very hardcore Star Citizen players. I know this. I've seen it. They People still play it. I like playing from time to time now. I just haven't played flat out like dedicated for a little while and I haven't really admitted that I did sort of admit it but I think a lot of people are going to other games and that's fine I've been playing a little bit of hunt showdown so if anyone plays any hunt showdown and you like you're decent at it come to discord join my discord and play some hunt showdown I play quite a few games actually just got back into battlefield 4 so look at the correlation between the two and that if people think they're not going to get like server meshing and pyro out this year they may finish squadron 42 and they may be working on a lot of content because a lot of that content that's going into squadron 42 is going to come to the pu if you know what i'm saying and i did sort of make a little bit of a correlation before as well when we seen the odyssey jumping to pyro there was a javelin and an idris there so it might just be for background noise and sort of making the video look a little bit prettier but to me it tells me that they may actually release uh, squadron 42 and then push the javelin and the idris into the pu but then again that could also be the ue um serviceable javelin and that could be a ue uh, idris it could be xeno threat it could be nine tails because we know xeno threat does come from pyro so let me know what you all think of this 
I definitely feel like we can expect Squadron 42 this year. Yes, there's a few things that push out past June and July, but it might not be that critical that they may just be able to release the game and give us some sort of a beta alpha test on it. So let me know what you guys think. I'm very interested to see what everyone thinks. The Squadron 42 uh, Gen 12 renderer as well for the PU as well should be done at the end of March. Well, sort of quarter through March, which will be really, really good for the, the verse, which is also why I think we may expect Squadron 42 this year because they're pushing on Gen 12 pretty hard and it would greatly improve our performance in the verse. <laughs> the Grey Cat PTV got standard. That's, that's hilarious. That's pretty funny. But let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this. It's been Baron. I'll see you in the verse.